Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam, and today's uh, TRT testosterone question is from a subscriber, and they ask, um, I convert a lot to estrogen, that's what they said, you know, um, I guess they have high estrogen levels, and what is the best way or best ways, whether it's diet, nutrition, or supplements, or drugs, to reduce the estrogen? Um, it's a good question, because as we get older, estrogen levels tend to rise in men, um, and then there's genetic propensities. For example, myself, when I was 19, I did a blood test and I had high estrogen or high normal estrogen, as I've stated in my other videos, and I had high normal DHT levels and then low testosterone, and that was 19. I was like, shoot, this is as good as it's gonna get. And the doctor said, no, it's perfectly fine, it's normal. I'm like, yeah, but I'm 19, this is like bad. It's still only gonna get worse. And that day changed my life, and that's what I got into hormones and and um, all these different things about health to improve things. So, one thing is, first of all, this person I don't know why they know they have high estrogen. Is it because maybe they have gynecomastia or man boobs, right? They have like you know a little bit of gyno there. Is it because they did a blood test and it showed that high estradiol levels? Is that the reason? Uh, or are they just assuming that? Um, so what are the different ways? What are the different causes? Um, I've done a deep dive in this, but I'll give you the short explanation, right? And then I'll dig in deeper. First of all, there's different things in the diet. Um, just sometimes like plastics, xenoestrogen, phytoestrogens, different foods that has estrogen. So it's not even what happens internally. It's sometimes we're just taking in estrogen. Um, then there is body fat. The higher your body fat levels, fat in itself produces more aromatase and higher estrogen levels. So it's almost like fat gets you fatter, right? So the leaner you are, the less estrogen your body also produces. Um, then there are different supplements that you can take, like um, white button mushroom extract and dim and so forth that can help reduce estrogen levels. And finally, there's um, hardcore, um, drugs, aromatase inhibitors, such as uh, Arimidex, Fumara, or Aromacin. And these will all help reduce estrogen levels, while at the same time, um, doing all these different things, will then, by the way, lowering your estrogen will indirectly increase your testosterone levels. So that's another thing, because as it reduces the conversion estrogen, testosterone levels will normally rise. So those are all the different things. First of all, you gotta do a blood test and ideally you would do an estradiol or estradiol sensitive on your blood test. You have to ask for that. So with that said, I've done a complete deep dive on this. Um, I'll, right after this, you can go ahead and watch it about best foods to eat and avoid, um, what you can do with your body fat, what are the specific supplements, drugs, dosages, and so forth that you might consider taking. But again, you should always do the blood test first to see where your levels are. So with that said, um, more information on this video and I'll continue on with a deep dive on how you can lower your estrogen levels if it's excess. And by the way, high estrogen is bad, but so is low estrogen. Low estrogen has many benefits for your brain, including your libido and muscles and so forth. So you don't want low estrogen, you also don't want high estrogen, right? And that whole estrogen testosterone ratio balance also matters. So this is all the different things you have to take into account. Only a blood test would be able to tell you that, but I'll continue on with more information, more details about all the different ways that you can reduce, prevent, and improve your estradiol to your testosterone levels. Okay, so let's continue. And now I'll reveal the four best ways to naturally lower your estrogen levels and in the process also have higher testosterone levels. Remember, just as you don't want high estrogen levels, you also do not want low estrogen levels either because estrogen has many benefits for your brain, for your heart, for your skin, and yes, even your sex drive. We just want it to be in the normal range, but on the what I prefer more in the lower normal range rather than the higher normal range. All right, so let's continue. The first thing you want to do is lower body fat levels. You see, excess body fat, especially your fat cells, produce an enzyme called aromatase, which converts testosterone to estrogen, such as estradiol. So losing body fat, especially excess body fat, will help lower estrogen production. This also, in turn, will help boost your testosterone levels since there's less conversions to testosterone from testosterone to estrogen. So lower excess body fat. Next, you wanna reduce estrogenic compounds, all right? You wanna basically reduce 
external estrogens from things like such as foods or plastics, such as plastic water bottles and so forth. Unfortunately, this can be time consuming and difficult, but some simple ways to do this is first of all, you wanna reduce or eliminate all dairy. Dairy does have some estrogenic effects because of the cows and how they're brought up. Um, next, you wanna eat more natural proteins, such as grass-fed beef, wild-caught fish, and pasture-raised chicken and eggs, all right? And then in the process, you also wanna reduce processed meats, such as you know lunch meats and hot dogs and cold cuts and so forth. All those meats are bad and have more hormonal, negative hormonal effects, such as higher estrogen levels. Next, you want to reduce alcohol and marijuana. Unfortunately, two of the most popular drugs, especially for guys that they consume a lot of, are um, alcohol and marijuana, and both of these increase estrogen levels. So you want to reduce alcohol, especially beer, and marijuana, and yes, this includes vaping. And finally, you want to take natural estrogen blockers and inhibitors, all right? There's also specific supplements that can help lower estrogen levels, and um, there's a lot of them, but some of the better ones that actually do work, um, one of them is DIM. This helps get rid of estrogen, not as much as lowering estrogen like an inhibitor does, so just basically gets rid of excess estrogen. Try two to 400 milligrams a day. Um, calcium d glucurate is another one. This is similar to DIM. Again, it helps excrete estrogen from the body. Uh, another one is grapeseed extract. As you know, grapeseed extract has many benefits, and one of them is to lower estrogen levels through the inhibition of an aromatase enzyme. Um, a good one dose is about 500 milligrams of the extract. Make sure you always take the extract. And finally, white button mushroom extract. This has actually been shown to be a mild aromatase inhibitor. That's the enzyme that converts testosterone to estrogen. Um, so this is really good. Try about 400 milligrams of the extract. Again, make sure it's the extract, not just the root. Um, obviously, don't take all these at the same time, all right? Um, however, there you know you can mix and match them. Um, what There are a couple of these ingredients that are found at the correct dose in a product called Alpha Viral, which is I've been taking for over 20 years. Alpha Viral is a testosterone boosting supplement. And one of the key components and benefits of Alpha Viral is not only does it help increase testosterone levels directly, but it also helps lower excess estrogen levels. Alpha Vera also helps balance DHT levels, dihydrotestosterone. That's a hormone linked to hair loss and prostate problems. So it's an all-in-one solution. I put the direct link to Alpha Vera below in the description area if you want more details, how the ingredients work, the reviews, and so forth, including coupons. All right, so in summary, let's keep it simple. You don't want high or low estrogen levels. You want to keep in the normal range, but I prefer more in the lower normal rather than high normal. Um, you want to reduce extra body fat, all right? Basically, the leaner you are, the better. Um, next, you want to decrease external estrogens, such as those found in milk and processed meats and foods, and also um, don't heat plastics. And finally, take specific supplements that will help balance out both estrogen and testosterone levels and keep them in the op optimal range. I put more information about those supplements that I take, the ingredients below, and I put additional information for improving your hormones. So make sure you scroll down and take advantage of this proven information. As I always say, don't just passively listen, all right? Take action, all right? I put all that great information today in this video. Do it, and I put more information below in the description area. So take a look. Take results. I mean, take action today so you can start seeing the results tomorrow. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I wish you a very happy and healthy day.